father, it has been decided that I am to serve Lord Dong Zhuo. At last, this will allow me to do what you want me to do. Diao Chan. She was an incomparably beautiful woman, skilled in the arts of song and dance. The Han official Wang Yun raised her as if she were his own daughter. Out of loyalty to her adopted father, Diao Chan agreed to serve the villainous Dong Zhuo, which placed a heavy burden upon her delicate shoulders. I want you to understand, Diao Chan, that man will bring only ruin to this land. The Han will be destroyed unless we put a stop to his selfish rampage. I have taken your life from you and degraded it. I can never apologize enough for that, but you must understand that it is for the greater good. Please, there is no need for you to apologize. I am happy to be able to help you in any way I can. I promise that I will do my duty. Now, take defensive positions! It seems that ever since he adopted you, Master Lu Bu, Master Dong Zhuo has only descended even further into a lifestyle of decadence and debauchery. There are none within the capital who can oppose you. I feel that he is taking advantage of the fear that you instill in others. So the pig has begun to wallow ever more in the filth. But the more enemies he has, the more it suits me. Surely, there are limits to such thinking. All I desire is a battlefield on which to wreak havoc. The more enemies he has, the more opportunities I will have to do that. I have never seen anyone look forward to battle so much. I myself wish for a land without conflict. And you are? Excuse my intrusion. My name is Diao Chan. I am currently serving as a waiting maid for Lord Dong Zhuo and spend most of my days by his side. I have heard all about you, Lord Lu Bu. They say you are an unparalleled warrior. But you dislike conflict. Yes. Battle brings only sorrow. Many innocent people are forced to endure pain and suffering. So many lose their lives. I have no desire to see that ever again. You need not worry. Once the world realizes that my might cannot be bested, no one will start any unnecessary battles. And there will be no need for you to know sorrow. Thank you for your compassion, my lord. Nubu! Where were you? Just now, Cao Cao talked his way in and tried to kill me. You're never by my side when I need you. What good are you? What? I am not your vassal. Do not misunderstand our relationship. How dare you answer back? Anyway, he couldn't have gotten far. Chase after him at once, and bring me back his head. Do not let him leave Luo Young alive. No one tries to kill me.
and lives to tell the tale. Catch that fool, Zhao Zhao, and make him pay the price. <laughs> Sit down, Chuck. But don't yeah. overdo it. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. Wow, now that was some terrific fighting. We are not about to let you harm Cao Cao. I will protect him even if it costs me my life. Now, take defensive positions. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. I pray that you may escape to safety. I never approach any situation without a proper plan in place. Archers, drown my pursuers in a sea of arrows. I'm gonna have to put a stop to you myself! I have no choice. Got it. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. You have proven your worth in battle a thousandfold. The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! These guys are tougher than I thought. Forgive me, my lord. I hope you're able to escape to safety. Was all part of my plan. Ambush unit, help me shake off this pursuit. <laughs> Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. That's it, Diao Cha. But don't overdo it. Yeah. The 
This opponent shouldn't be underestimated. We must proceed carefully. This is no time to hold back. Launch the ambush and put a stop to Deng Zhuo's army. Advance for the ages. The enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. Thousandfold. Reporting! Cao Cao has escaped from Luo Yang! What are you idiots doing? I'll have your heads for letting Cao Cao get away! No one tries to kill me, and lives to tell the tale! Catch that fool, Zhao Zhao, and make him pay the price! So, A dance for the ages! This is no time to hold back! Launch the ambush and put a stop to Deng Zhuo's army. Yeah. You out of your misery. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. tries to kill me and lift <laughs> the tail catch that fool Zhao Zhao and make him pay the price please be careful yeah this is no time to hold back. Launch the ambush and put a stop to Deng Zhuo's army. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mistake has cost me everything. You imbecile! You really thought you could get away from me? You are about to learn the true meaning of pain. Lu Bu, what have you done? Where is Cao Cao's head? You better not have let him escape. Hmm. There is no sport in killing a man while he flees. We are better to let him go. What's that? You couldn't catch him? So you're just making excuses? If you weren't my adopted son, I would have had you executed long ago. Listen to me. If you let anything like this happen again, I will show you no mercy. If I tell you to kill someone, you will kill them. Understand? Watch how you talk to me, pig. You keep your nose out of my battles. I will decide who I kill and who I let live. If you try and tell me what to do again, you will be the one shown no mercy. Bleeding about being the greatest. He's all talk. He's nothing more than a worthless dog. So your grandfather's adopted son? Lubu, was it? What an unrefined visage. Quite frankly, the thought of having an uncouth brute such as yourself within the family is enough to make me feel quite nauseous. Who exactly are you? I am surprised to learn that there are still any in Luo Young who don't know my name. But I will take pity on your ignorance and tell you, my name is Dong Bai. I am Dong Juo's granddaughter. If you address me in a manner which displeases me, you will face a fate worse than any my grandfather could conjure up. Be aware. Well, wait right there! Just what kind of attitude do you call that? I really don't know what my grandfather sees in him. Fine. If he behaves rudely around me, I will simply have to teach him a lesson myself. That's it, Diao Cha. But don't overdo it. <laughs> oh, Diao Chan, my dear, you seem a little fatigued. No, I'm fine. But why are you here, Father? I am sure you are aware that Master Cao Cao failed in his attempt to assassinate Dong Zhuo a few days ago. In fact, it was I who encouraged Master Cao Cao to attempt the assassination. Father, 
Is this true? Ever since adopting Lu Bu as his son, Dong Zhuo's depravity and tyranny has reached new depths. I... I cannot just stand by and watch him bring turmoil and ruin to the land. Ever since the assassination attempt, Lord Dong Zhuo has become far more cautious. He meets with no guests and keeps Lord Lu Bu by his side at all times. That is my problem. The only way is to assassinate Dong Zhuo, but no man is a match for Lu Bu. Recently, Lord Lu Bu has begun to express some dissatisfaction with Lord Dong Zhuo. Matters very nearly came to a head just the other day. Diao Chan, I believe it is time to use my secret weapon. That, of course, is you, my dear. You are trusted by both men. That means you have the ability to drive a wedge between them. Our ultimate aim must be to have Lu Bu kill Dong Zhuo for us. I can see no other way. I understand. I promise I will do what I can. If both men take a greater interest in me, then that should serve to drive them further apart. Yes, you must try and ingratiate yourself to both men. A couple of acts to impress each man ought to do. Come back and see me once you've done that. We must decide together what to do after that. The only path available to us is to drive a wedge between Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu. Diao Chan, it will be your job to do that. I understand, father. I... I will do everything that I am capable of. Allow me to take care of this. Ha! Head east from Luoyang. Ever since Dong Zhuo seized control of... You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Hey, get on in here! again. Here. 
come again. like Dong Zhuo. Hey, get on in here. Some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. We have received our orders from Master Dong Zhuo. We are to work with Master Lu Bu to eliminate the bandits. Lord Lu Bu respects strength in battle above all else. If I perform well on the battlefield, he is sure to take notice. only do what they do because they are weak. Dong Zhuo is wasting my strength on this petty <laughs> Xiao Cha, yeah. I had no idea you were capable of so much. Here, take this as a reward. Oh, this is for me? Lord Lu Bu... I don't know what to say. It seems I was able to fulfill Lord Gaoshun. 
I wish to send Lord Lu Bu a gift. Do you have any idea what he might like? He's looking for horseshoes for red hair. Why not have some forged for him? Yeah, you've proven you're more useful than I thought. You want horseshoes for red hair? Sure thing, leave it to me. I need a mold to make the shoes. Could you get it from red hair? Perfect. I'll put everything I've got into making shoes for red hair. <laughs> ah, the horseshoes for red hair! But Master Lubu is off fighting bandits. I'll make sure he gets them once he returns. I know he'll be very happy. It seems I was able to fulfill my destiny. That's it, Diao Cha. But don't overdo it. Chang has been acting oddly recently. Could it be that he is planning a revolt? Hmm. First, we need some proof. How about following him when he goes out? Suspicion of treachery. If I look into this and report to Lord Dom Zhuo, then perhaps... No one is here. Good. Chang has been acting oddly recently. Could it be that he is planning a revolt? Hmm. First, we need some proof. How about following him when he goes out?
Lady Dongbai? What's the matter? You seem... awfully melancholy. Apparently, Li Ru has got himself some sort of precious gemstone. How dare he not deliver it to me at once? You there, go tell Li Ru that if he hands his jewel over right now, I'll spare his life. What is it? Ah, uh, you want this gemstone? You can have it, but I have conditions. Please deliver some letters for me. them all I see. Well then, the treasure is yours. Not bad. You could be more useful than I thought. I'll be sure to let Grandfather know how you helped me out. able to fulfill my destiny. That's it, Diao Chao. But yeah. don't overdo it. Wu Chang has been acting odd. Hmm. First, we need... Wu Ch Hmm. Chat. Hmm. First, we. Yeah. Allow me to take care of this.
Yao Chan, you're back. Hmm. So you've managed to become friendly with Dong Zhuo's beloved granddaughter. That will be a good foothold, certainly. Hmm. A gift for Lu Bu. If it is from you, his passions are sure to be stirred. You helped Lu Bu defeat some bandits. Well, that ought to have strengthened the trust between you. The two of them are certain to become increasingly infatuated with you now, Piao Chan. You have carried out a difficult task most admirably. Thank you, Father. I am just glad I was able to do what you wanted. Dao Chan, I received your present from Gao Shun. Is this really for me? Yes. I hope you like it. Why did you send it to me? I am not capable of responding in kind. I don't know what you want me to say. I sent it to you because... Because... I wanted to make you happy. That's all. Perhaps... Because I am favored by Lord Dong Zhuo, I am not well liked within the castle. I just hoped that you would be willing to spend some time with me, Lord Lu Bu. No doubt you think me artless and uncouth. You may discard it if you wish. I will do no such thing. If it pleases you, I would be glad to stay and talk with you. Ah! Oh, how wonderfully kind you are! Thank you. I would like that very much. Diocha, both men seem to be infatuated with you. It is only a matter of time before one or the other makes a move. Diocha. Oh, Master Lu Bu, if you wanted Diocha, you need only have summoned her. I would have sent her to your side. I am not here to see you, Diocha. I hear that Dong Zhuo is making you his concubine. Is this true? Yes. He decided. Without even asking me. I... What I really want is... Is to be by your side, Lord Lu Bu. But... But... But if that cannot be, then... Then my life is not worth living. That filthy swine! How dare he do this to Diao Chan! Don't worry. I will talk to him. You just stay by my side, and I will sort everything out. Oh, Lord Lu Bu! Thank you so much! Diao Chan, you must promise me you will not think of dying again. Things are proceeding perfectly. All we need do now is wait. Diao Chan, I've noticed that you've been spending a lot of time with Grandfather recently. Just who do you think you are? I know you want him to favor you, but I find you a terrible eyesore. My Lady Dongbai, I assure you, I have no ill intentions. I am simply fortunate that Lord Dong Zhuo has chosen to favor me. Silence! You are just trying to turn Grandfather's head with your feminine wiles. You disgust me. 
I know you're up to something. I can smell it. Listen to me. Stay away from Grandfather. If I see you near him again, there will be consequences. I wonder if Lady Dongbai suspects my true intentions. But, even if she does, I cannot stop now. For my father's sake, and for the sake of the future peace of this land. Xiao is bringing a bunch of his foolish men to attack us here in Lu Yang. Lu Bu, this is exactly the kind of battle you always wanted, right? Then get out there and get rid of them for me! Lord Dong Zhuo, I would like to accompany Lord Lu Bu to the front lines myself. He is said to be a man of unparalleled might. I would like to see this legendary strength with my own eyes. Absolutely not. You will stay here with me. Together, we shall relax and wait for the reports of our victory. Come, Diao Chan. I will keep you safe. Watch and learn just how mighty I am. Lord Lu Bu, thank you so much. Lord Dong Zhuo, please allow me this one indulgence. You don't need permission from him. Come on. The enemy commander, Yuan Chao, is nothing but an empty-headed fool. Rip him to pieces! forces are a ragtag bunch with no real unity. Come, Grandfather. Let's put them to the sword. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Not afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Yeah. Yeah. Young Green Castle is an important foothold in the campaign against Dong Zhuo. Brave warriors of Wu, we must defend it at all costs. Yeah, 
We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. I must fall back. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. That was quite a spectacle. And truly amazing. They're attacking this castle even though they know it is defended by the Sun family? Let's make them pay for their stupidity. Uh, <laughs> your timing couldn't have been better. I'll make a show of defeating you and then everybody will notice me. For the ages. I shall serve as our Lord's shield. Nobody will lay a finger on him as long as I'm here.
That base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Yeah. Hmm. There you are, you maggots. You will not make it to Liu Yang by getting past me. My sworn brothers are fighting bravely on the front lines. Let's join them and add my strength to theirs. I have no choice but to retreat. Yeah, you're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. That's it, Jiao Chao. But don't overdo it. Weaken the enemy greatly. All units march. Traitors! I shall oppose you in the name of the heart. Seek a greater future. Though you may mock it, for the sake of that future, I will fail. Yeah. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. You have proven your worth in battle a thousandfold. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms, my beloved. Let us put an end to this battle! Do not worry yourself, Yao Chan. I will kick aside any who get in our way. to underestimate me based on my appearance. That's it, Jiao Chang. But don't overdo it. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Underestimate me based on my appearance. You have proven your worth in battle a thousandfold. Yeah. Lu Yang is safe now. I will head for Su Shui. Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my destiny. Yeah. Oh, now that was some terrific fighting. Yeah. Yeah.
maggots! No one's getting through Sushui Gate as long as I stand. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! It seems we are having trouble with the assault on Sishui Gate. Prepare the rams. I shall head there myself. Proceeding very well. Yeah. You shall gather up your men and hurry there at once. Yeah. How dare you set foot inside the camp of a nobleman? Do you not know your place? I will make sure you are punished. Yeah. 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 Report! Young Great yeah. Castle has been attacked and fallen to Dung Draw's forces. Young yeah. oh. yeah. Castle has been lost? Yeah. Is Dung Draw's army so powerful? Yeah. Yeah. Destroy the yeah. enemy. Yeah. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Yeah. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance.
It is an honor to face you on behalf of my lord. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Stand for the ages. Neither my heart nor my spear have broken. We shall meet again. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. Wow, now that was some terrific fighting. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Maybe based on my appearance. Well done! Most impressive! Destroy the enemy! I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We shall determine the outcome of this battle another time. Some terrific fighting. You're a true warrior of the three kingdoms. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. Sure know how to fight. Wow, now that was some terrific fighting. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. Well done! Most impressive! Ah, to be thwarted by such a dishonorable foe! This is an indelible stain on my noble name! <laughs> Take that! You worthless bourbon! You're no 
numbers mean nothing against me. Yeah. The coalition forces were no match for me. Let's go back to Luo Yang. I bring a message from Lord Dong Juo. We are to abandon Luo Yang and retreat to Shun An. You are to make preparations immediately. What? But we won! Wait. Did something happen to the Emperor? I have no further information, I'm afraid. I must take my leave. Perhaps Lord Dongzhuo always intended to move the capital. Regardless of the result of the battle, he may have asked you to fight just to buy some time. That disgusting pig! How dare he use me like that! Come, Diaocha. It is time to have a little word with him. Dong Zhuo, what are you up to? I have defeated our enemies. There is no need to flee to Shun An. Silence! How dare you act like you've repelled all our enemies? You let them get through at Su Shui Gate and Pu Lao Gate. The castle is completely exposed. Stain here is tantamount to asking the enemy to come right in and kill me. I am taking the Emperor with me to Chang'an. The decision has been made. Stop grumbling and get ready. A few measly soldiers get through a gate or two and he turns and flees? Dong Zhuo is a miserable coward. Abandoning Luo Yang and fleeing to Chang'an will change nothing. The chaos pervading the land will continue. All we are achieving is spreading the conflict even further. <sighs> How long will it be before the people's suffering will end? Is this what you wanted, Lord Lubu? The battles I seek are not so pathetic and unsatisfying. I want to crush all who approach and show the world that my might is beyond compare. Lord Dong Zhuo will be prepared to make any sacrifice to save his own skin. I fear that would include the lives of the Emperor and you yourself, Lord Lu Bu. Do you think that you will ever find what you are looking for while you serve under Lord Dong Zhuo? What are you trying to say? I simply thought it might be time for you to consider leaving Lord Dong Zhuo's service and walking your own path. If you were considering taking such an action, I would not hesitate to give you whatever help I could. Diao Chan, are you suggesting I kill him? I believe it would be for the best. For both of us. I understand.
Dong Zhuo has gone to Shun Un, while Cao Cao gives chase. He has given the order to slay Cao Cao, but I no longer care what that fat swine says. I will rid the world of both of them, Cao Cao and Dong Zhuo. That ought to remove all that stands between us, Diao Chan. Yes, I will accompany you and bear witness to the moment that our dreams come true. Yes, come with me. Now is the hour when I will show the world just how truly mighty I am. Father, Lu Bu has made up his mind. I will accompany him as he heads for Chang'an, where Dong Zhuo awaits. Oh, Dio Chan, that is wonderful news. Your long, hard struggles are about to be at an end. And once Dong Zhuo is gone, the land will surely sail a course for peace. There is one issue which gives me pause. I believe Lord Lu Bu may have seen through our plan. I fear that he knows. I am an evil woman, a poisonous influence who has used him for my own ends. I cannot believe an animal like that is nearly sharp enough to see so much. Dio Chan, your role is over. You need to hurry to safety before any danger should befall you. No, I cannot do that. I believe I have an obligation to see this through to the end. I must bear witness to Lord Dongzhuo's life ending at Lord Lu Bu's hands. I see. If that's the way you feel, then I have no right to stop you. But please, take care. Yes, I will. It is time. Hey! I will slay Dong Zhuo and start yeah. living my life the way I want to live it. I was also trying to slay Lord Dong Zhuo. In this chaos, though, it will be difficult to avoid fighting his men. Do not worry yourself, Yao Chan. I will kick aside any who get in our way. We're Lady Diao Chun's allies! Now, attack the enemy main camp! You filthy little pest! How dare you get in my way? How just where do you think you're going? If you're up to mischief, you'll pay a steep price. Believe me. A dance for the ages! Why are you doing this? Don't tell me you're betraying Lord Dong Zhuo. Looks like you need a little more discipline. Just you wait until Grandfather gives you the punishment you deserve. Master Lu Bu has betrayed us? Then the world of Lord Dong Zhuo is truly over. That takes care of the enemy protecting Dong Zhuo. Now, to finish him off. Nothing will stop me from 
from fulfilling my destiny. Defensive positions! Now! Take defensive positions! What are you doing here? I thought you were tasked with protecting Dong Zhuo. Something doesn't smell good. What is it you're up to? I better deal with this before it gets out of hand. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. Diao Chao, but don't overdo it. Ah, how could Cousin Dun and I lose like this? I'm sure I held my own out there. Go capture one of those unsightly positions. Yeah. My carelessness cost us this battle. Just what are these guys up to? Yeah. You're not the first to underestimate me based on my appearance. Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my destiny. Yes! Swift and deadly warrior. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You, you dogs! Why are you attacking us? Watch out! They aren't allies! They're traitors! <laughs> this battle, fought without strategy, continues unabated. I have a feeling that the morale on both sides is likely to plummet. <laughs> Lord Shahu Dun and Lord Shahu Yuan have been defeated. Morale is low. 
The enemy's really putting the pressure on us. Okay, I'll go and put a stop to him myself. What? Why have you turned on Lord Dong Zhuo? After everything he's done! Lupu, you betray your father again? Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my destiny. Wow, now that was some terrific fight. on both sides are exhausted. I need to bring an end to this before we wipe each other out. Reporting! We've lost contact with the fort defended by General Li Ju. What? Cao Cao's forces have taken the fort? Well then, we'll have to take it back! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Now, take defensive positions. Turn your blade on your own allies. Do you mean to betray Master Dong Zhuo? He chose this particular time to launch his rebellion. Someone here must have put that beast up to this. He is able to take on both armies at once and still emerge victorious. Lu Bu's might is simply awe-inspiring. Zhuo has escaped my grasp a third time. How could a capricious fool such as Lu Bu be the one to control my fate? We are defeated. I never expected Master Lu Bu to turn on us. <laughs> Lu Bu's forces are attacking the flank? That retreat! Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my destiny. That's it, Diao Chop. But don't overdo it. <laughs> Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my destiny. Amazing. You are a swift and deadly warrior.
betray me? How dare you! How dare you live from limb! <sighs> Some terrific fighting. Me based on my appearance. That's it, Yao Chop. But don't overdo it. Ah, Lu Bu. Will you break our oath? Is this how you repay me? Don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx. You planned this, didn't you? for that swine. From now on, I walk the path I choose to walk. Magnificent, my lord. Now you can fight your battles the way you please. Yes. No one will impede me anymore. I will continue to fight to prove that I am the strongest this land has ever seen. What will you do, Liao Chan? You have achieved what you set out to achieve. There is no reason for you to stay here anymore. You do not need to answer, if you do not want to. If I have eased even a little of your suffering, then I am satisfied with that. Lord Lubu, 